Ralph Bagnall, and today I'm going to show you how to make this simple two-in-one guide rail. It's simple and it's easy to make. It's really just a cleat mounted to a piece of hardboard or quarter-inch plywood, and then trimmed so that your circular saw can run down one side or your router down the other side, and the cut line will be exactly lined up with the edge of your guide. Now, this is not a new design. It's been around for quite a while. But now you can use it with MicroJig's MatchFit dovetail clamps. I've added a half inch wide 14 degree dovetail slot down the center of the cleat, which allows my dovetail clamps to slide into place and be positioned anywhere along the guide that I need to. So it becomes super fast and easy to clamp to the work that you're working on and the clamps are out of the way. They're underneath. They're not going to get in the way of your operations. So let's see how to make one. Start by jointing your cleat stock straight on one edge and ripping it to two and a half inches wide. And while you're at the saw, rip your piece of masonite. It needs to be wide enough for the two and a half inch cleat, half of your router base, and the base of your saw. So now we're just going to apply glue. So you'll notice that I've got a, blue pe a piece of blue painter's tape here on my um, base piece. This is four and a half inches away from one edge. Actually, it's four and a half from here to the inside of the tape. That's going to be the saw side. The base of my particular saw, it runs right about four inches from the base plate to where the blade cuts. So I gave it a little bit of extra on that side. My two and a half inch center cleat will give me three inches on the other side, which is enough that I can trim both pieces once I get it assembled. I want this cleat to go on here pretty straight, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm going to clamp this down to my bench using um, clamps that have a little bit more throat depth to them. And you'll notice that I've got the base part down onto the bench. So the bench acts as a, as a call or a support for the more flexible um, base piece. So all I need is just a few of these clamps running down the body of my two-in-one guide rail, the actual cleat part. So here I've just got a little table set up, so, or a workstation set up, so that I can clamp this on and have enough overhang here to trim that off using my saw. So we'll go ahead and clamp this in place just to keep it from skating around on me. So now all I have to do is just cut this off, riding the base of my circular saw right along this cleat. And now this edge is parallel to my straight edge, but it's also um, exactly the same dimension as my saw so when I lay this on the line, I'll cut exactly where I want to. So now I've got my router. This is the router I'm going to use with this straight edge. Um, not every router base is exactly the same size. And what we're going to do is set the offset from the edge of the base to the cutter. And we're going to do that by using the router to trim the edge off, just like with the saw. So now my two-in-one clamp guide is exactly set up the way I want it. I'm going to trim the ends on the saw just to, just to clean it up a little bit, but they don't really come into play at all. But now both edges are dead parallel to the um, cleat, and so now I can mill my dovetail slot on the bottom side of this cleat right where I want it and be able to clamp this and use it the way that it's designed to be used. The dovetail slot needs to be three-eighths of an inch deep. So all you need to do is chuck the bit in your router and set the depth. But there's another method that will greatly increase the life of your bit. By pre-cutting a relief slot one quarter inch wide and five sixteenths inches deep, 
and then cutting the same path using your dovetail bit set to 3 8 of an inch deep, you improve chip clearance and greatly reduce the stress on the bit. I've got the router table set, fence set to 4 inches away. Um, that's going to bring me right to the center line of my cleat. If your router base is a little bit different, the measurement might be a little different, but in this case, that's going to put me right in the middle of the cleat. So I'm going to make one pass using the router table with the quarter inch bit in, and then without changing the setup of my fence, I can swap out to a dovetail bit, raise it up to three eighths of an inch, and make that cut. So now with the two-in-one guide finished, ends trimmed, dovetail cut, anytime I want to reduce a panel, all I have to do is line up the edge of my clamp guide with the line that I've set, use my match fit dovetail clamps to hold it in place. and cut to the line. And as you can see, the cut was right on the line just as we expected it to be. And when you need to make a groove or a profile in your part with the router, the two-in-one straight edge is here for you. Again, we're just going to use the dovetail clamps to hold it in place. And again, we're going to line right up to one side of our desired dado location. In this case, I'm going to cut a dado for the back of a cabinet. Clamps are quick and easy. And again, they can clamp anywhere inside this. So it doesn't really matter how long this part is. Microjig. Work safer. Work smarter.